You like that? It has my initial on it. I got it for Christmas. It's pretty nice, although I think I need to get one with an eye on it, because guess what? It's your boy in the money. And today we're talking about Robinhood's cash management service. And I know you guys have heard a whole lot about that, but we're gonna go in a little bit more detail than I think other people have. And as you guys know, a lot of people who use Robinhood to invest their money just tends to magically disappear, especially if you go around the crowd that browses Wall Street bets. So that kind of brings up some concerns. And in fact, some people on my Discord group brought up their own concerns saying, my bro Zyron here said, he's just kind of skeptical if they get hacked slash data breached. And Nesquik, who has a hamster with, I think, drumsticks for his profile picture said, true that, <laughs> true that. <laughs> wow, I'm like a grandma, grandpa, Jesus. True that, but doesn't the government cover it? I thought it was FDIC insured. He's right, your uninvested funds are swept into one of six partnered banks. And those partnered banks are FDIC members, so your money is FDIC insured. At each of those banks, you have up to $250,000 insurance. However, according to Council on Foreign Relations and several other sources I was looking at, the FDIC only insures your account against the failure and collapse of the bank. As the FDIC explains, most banks have private insurance for fraud loss. And this applies to theft as well. So your money is not covered from fraud or theft just because the banks are F FDIC members. So I did some poking around. Robinhood doesn't have its own insurance to insure you against theft or fraud. So I was trying to figure out what kind of practices they have to protect your money from either a data breach or fraud or any sort of theft. And I started by looking at a lot of different laws and regulations, and there's definitely some federal laws that apply to this subject, but they are very vague and generalized, and there's nothing specific that gives me direct answers on how exactly Robinhood implements like physical and technical barriers from people accessing my data. So after a little bit of that, I moved on, looked at some privacy agreements that Robinhood has. And to be honest, I got super bored and super frustrated pretty quick. I just ended up skimming. So I gave up on that and I did the unthinkably useless. I sent Robinhood support an email. It said, hello, I will be participating in your cash management services. And I understand that you're FDIC insured or our funds will be at least once they're swept into one or more of the six partnered banks that I mentioned earlier. I understand that under federal law, there are requirements to maintain administrative, technical, and physical barriers to protect my information. Would you mind informing me generally of what barriers Robinhood has implemented? I understand that the FDIC insurance does not cover this kind of loss, just like we discussed, but I am not sure if Robinhood has insurance to protect its customers from adverse events like this. And I signed it, your boy, in the money. So you have to keep in mind that I sent this email after hours on a Friday. It was around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So judging by that and my past experience with Robinhood customer support, I knew I was either gonna get a response on Monday or I was just throwing that email in the trash. So I put a pause on my research and I played 25 absolutely horrible minutes of Rust. I don't really wanna talk about it. But then, holy f Within 25 minutes, my boy Robert here sent me an email answering all my questions, giving all information I needed to know. And I'm gonna pass along that information to you. And to be quite honest, I was completely stunned and either this was an anomaly or Robin Hood is really stepping up its game because I have not experienced their customers, customers, I have not experienced the customer support being this reactive and this thorough. But let me go ahead and pass along the information that Bob here told me. He started off by talking about how he's, Robinhood has already been protecting your information, how your information is never stored in plain text. It's always encrypted. They only use your bank information once and they don't store it on their servers. In some other technical jargon that I don't quite understand, but sounds very reassuring. They also mentioned how they're an SIPC member, meaning that your funds uh, that you invest are insured up to $500,000. So that's how they've been protecting you for a while, but I was more curious about how they're gonna protect us going into their cash management service. Robinhood's new man cash management service, it's partnered with MasterCard, which gives you a lot of different benefits when it comes to protecting your money and your information. The following five features that Bobby here told me about got me so excited that I about came to my jorts. What he said was that first of all, since they are partnered with MasterCard, you get the MasterCard zero liability protection, which essentially means that if any transaction is made that you did not do, you can file a complaint to customer support and they will help you get your money back. So it's not like if someone has your card information and does a transaction, you've lost that money for good. Just like you can with different credit card companies, you can go to customer support and they will help you get those funds returned to you. This is really reassuring to me because there's definitely been a few times I left a card at a bar or something like that. And I want to know that I can challenge those transactions. 
Right off the bat, Bob here had me pretty hooked. The second feature he spoke about was location protection. Essentially what that is, is that if a transaction is made anywhere where your phone is not, that transaction will be declined and then a push notification will be sent to your phone. And that way you can take a look at it and see if someone else has your card. And if they do, you can lock your card through the app and mark it as lost or stolen so that no more transactions take place. This is kind of a problem though, if you're gonna hand your card off to your friend to go get a pack of beer, but you're sitting at home browsing Reddit, he won't be able to do that transaction. Thankfully, through the app, you can turn this off whenever you want so that someone else can make a transaction. Or if you're just gonna be away from your phone, you can make a transaction as well. This is pretty nice because with most other financial institutions or credit card companies, whatever, even if you have your phone on you, if you go to a different state or sometimes, or if you go to a different country, they will decline your transactions unless you've called ahead and let them know. Now, if you have your phone on you, you can go wherever and it won't decline. You won't have to call anybody or you can turn it off if you're not gonna have your phone with you for a little bit. Third feature, which is really nice, most credit card companies have, or people who provide uh, transaction services have, is you can lock your card. So you can do that through the Robinhood app in case you're suspicious of anybody who might uh, have picked it up out of your pocket or something. They also have spend alerts, which means they'll send you a notification every time you buy something so that if you uh, spent too much on booze last night, you get to doubly regret it. And finally, Bobby Boo Boo told us that we have overdraft protection, which is so nice because there's nothing worse than being broke and then being fined for being broke. With this, if you're gonna make a transaction that's gonna put you in the red, it's just gonna decline it. So you won't end up overdrafting and then incurring overdraft fees. No one likes being a red, especially in Robin Hood. So this is a very nice feature. God bless Bobby, boy, boo boo bag. So really your funds are just as safe in Robin Hood as they are with your current bank. There's nothing to be worried about. They have a lot of protections enabled that comply with federal law and also are just additional benefits given to you since they are partnered through MasterCard. If you guys wanna join my Discord and strong arm me into making a video about something, feel free to do so. It's in the Discord, it's in the uh, description below. I love you guys. My heart beats for you. Have a wonderful trading week. I'll see you next time. Love you. Also, as one final note, uh, your boy is getting really, really close to the front of the line. So if you wanna see me review this when this comes out, just smack that subscribe button for me.